Всем привет, I'm Vigeny Maximov, this video is about Apple Compressor and uh, this is really nice and simple tool uh, to use if you are, for example, active user of Final Cut Pro. And let's dive into it, this video will answer different how-to questions. So let's... Uh... Let's learn something about Apple Compressor. So, first question is really obvious. How does Compressor works? And if you open it, you will have picture something like this. And I highly recommend you to make first two actions. Open your different settings and different locations and open window with your inspector. And right now we are ready to go. We are ready to compress our files. I have one example. This is my uh, YouTube video. Why you don't control YouTube and if you want to watch it, you can you can watch it <laughs> somewhere here or here. So we just take this file and drop it into this add file window. And right now you can see we created a new batch uh, with uh, this name why you don't control YouTube. You have uh, jobs. Uh, this is amount of your videos and amount of outputs. This is uh, our settings that we will apply uh, on our videos. And you have uh, this video. If you click on it, you have uh, different stuff, different properties of uh, this video and you can apply different settings. So we move to our left window and you can see different built-in settings. Also, you can create custom settings, but uh, I will speak about it a little bit later. And for example, I want to compress uh, this video and make uh, two versions. First one is uh, mp3 file because I want to upload it on a podcast platform. And second one, I want to create a compressed proxy file and drop it uh, on my cloud so as a backup version. So we open our settings built-in and I am looking for my audio formats and uh, I want to use, for example, mp3. I take this format and just drop it on my window, uh, on my file. You can see we applied this setting and if you click on it, you can also see parameters and different properties of this setting and you can change everything that you want. So you want to change uh, final bitrate, move to audio and for example data rate, you can just make something like this. You can also change location of uh, this setting, so double click and choose location for example export. This is my main folder to export my files and also for example you want to change your final uh, file name, double click and you can just write mp3 version something like this. You can just click on start batch and you will compress, you will convert your video into this uh, setting that you choose. I want to apply additional format, so we are moving for example in proxy and I want to make uh, pro proxy half size. For, for example, I like this one, again take it and drop it on my video and you can see we applied additional setting and right now we have two settings, mp3 and uh, this proxy setting. And again, if we click on it, you can see we have a lot of different properties and you can change everything that you want. If you want to crop, for example, you can open uh, cropping and padding uh, or you can see these uh, little squares and you can just make something like this. and. You can see <laughs> you cut a half of your video. That's also acceptable. After adjusting these settings, I want to change my location. I don't like my desktop, so right click, again okay, location. And uh, if you, for example, have a lot of different settings and you want to change uh, for all of this, uh, so you just pick your video, right click, again location. And I want to drop it in my movies. And you can see we have again movies, movies. That's all. So I just click on start batch and you can see Compressor opened uh, active tab. You can see that compressor is working right now and after completing uh, you can see notification obvious. And in completed tab you can see completed uh, projects and you can for example watch additional information, find uh, this uh, final file. Also you can recreate, so retry uh, this preset and uh, you can make the same actions. And uh, this is first question. Compressor works something like this. Next, uh, more obvious question, how to create custom preset. So, for example, you don't like all these presets and you want to create a custom one. For example, I am uh, uploading my videos on YouTube and I need to create preset according to bitrate, uh, resolution and other stuff. So, again, open a window with our settings, click on this uh, little plus and right now you can choose a new setting. Click on it and you choose... Uh, default format, I will use uh, QuickTime Movie and I call it uh, 
1080p, for example. And I click OK, and you can see in custom uh, bin you have uh, this 1080p. And to change uh, this default settings, you click on it and you change everything that you want. So you want to change frame size. Uh, so for example, I want to make it 1080p. I want to make all this video in 1080p. And I want to use uh, codec, for example, H264. Uh, data rate, I want to make custom and uh, put 8000 kilobytes per second. I can just drop it on my video and we have our working custom preset. It's really easy to, to use. Important note, if you change your settings inside your uh, video, you will change only these settings. You won't change the default settings of your preset that located in this place. So you just need to keep this in mind. Next question, how to create additional uh, destination of your final file? Because uh, you can see as a default, you have three, three folders, desktop, movies and source. It's not enough. Open locations, click on uh, this uh, small plus again and uh, choose a folder that you want to use. For example, I want to drop it in uh, photo folder. Click on choose and right now you can see you have uh, this custom destination and you can use it and it's again really easy to use really easy to change, don't uh, like this one, just delete it and that's all. Next question, how to set default export settings because it's really uh, important, it's really handy to use. I highly recommend to you to use this if you are using uh, one preset, for example, YouTube 1080p. I use uh, this preset all the time and I use my final destination is my export folder. This is my default setting and I want to set it as a default. Click on compressor, move to preferences and you can see general you have this default settings and I want to choose uh, my custom YouTube 1080p and my export folder. And right now if you export uh, this video you have as a default uh, these settings and I highly recommend to you to use uh, this one because uh, you can save a lot of your time if you export one type of your video. How to export different multiple files uh, using compressor. So again you just pick your needed files, you drop it in your compressor and you can see you have all these videos and you can change independently all settings. For example, you want to make first video in uh, YouTube 1080p, second video in MP3 and uh, so on. And you can just click on one button and you compress all these files at the same time. You can save a lot of your time. You just pick all these files. So command plus A and right click. Uh, for example, I want to remove all the settings and I want to again pick my audio format and I want to drop uh, MP3. And you can see we applied on every file and it's, it's so easy to use. If you want to change location, again, command plus A a and uh, right click location and uh, movies for example next question how to apply different effects so we pick our files open our video settings uh, and you move to the bottom and you can see video effects and right now you can apply different stuff you can uh, apply your lot you can uh, make additional fade in fade out you can make a time code generator this is really handy if you have commercial shooting and you need to show to your customer this time and uh, it's much easier to handle uh, this footage with uh, this time code feature. You can change properties of uh, these effects, for example, position of uh, this time code. So I want to set it a uh, lower center and what you need to understand that you have this before and after divider so, and you can see this line at the center and you can move it. So this is our before and this is our after. So you can see we have this time code. If you click on this button, you can see before picture. I really don't know why they pick only before and you can't see only after image. This is really strange, but this is a small minus. So you can see only before and uh, after you have uh, this uh, stressful <laughs> divisor. You can change font, for example, make something like this. You can apply additional watermark uh, if you uh, want to protect your footage <laughs> from your customer. So click on watermark, uh, pick your file, for example, open it and I can place it at the center and you can see position. I need to just adjust it a little bit, low opacity a little bit and you can see uh, I protect pro protect my, my video. Sometimes it's much easier to create this video effect in the compressor uh, than in Final Cut Pro. So recommend to you to use this one. 
how to export projects in Final Cut Pro and drop it in the compressor. It's really easy to use. You just pick a needed project, uh, click on file and you can see send to compressor and you just click on new batch. You can see this file and you can adjust it as you want. And by the way, you can see this Final Cut Pro logo. It says that you are exporting Final Cut Pro project. Final Cut Pro project. <gasps> and uh, speaking about uh, this intro, this is just a simple file and you have preview of this already made file. I if you start batch, you can see uh, also uh, these uh, little icons so you can understand uh, this is my project from Final Cut Pro. This is my already made file. Next question, how to use compressors export settings uh, in the Final Cut Pro without opening and using compressor. Firstly, understand your final settings and if needed, create a custom setting and open uh, Final Cut Pro, move to a preferences, click on Final Cut Pro, preferences, and you can see destinations and add additional destination. And you can see compressor settings. If you double click on it, you can see all these settings from our compressor. And I want to pick my 1080p, click OK, and you can see we have these destinations from our compressor. And again, you can also change it uh, in this uh, window. And right now, if you click on export uh, button, you can see this 1080p, click on it and you can just click next. You won't use compressor, but you will use settings from your compressor. Click save and you can see in background tasks, you have rendering of your final project without opening compressor. This is really handy and I highly recommend you to again use this combination without opening compressor, just render using settings from compressor in the Final Cut Pro. Really complicated combinations. <laughs> and the most interesting question, how to quick export uh, your files without opening compressor at all. And we will use droplet feature. Open compressor, pick uh, your needed settings that you want to use, right click and you can see save a droplet. I will use uh, this uh, 1080p, save a droplet and you can pick uh, place where to save uh, this droplet. Uh, I will pick a desktop, click save and you can see you created a new file, you created a new application. If you double click, you can see this small window, small application and you can just drop your needed files. You can choose uh, export uh, window and that's all. You just click start batch window disappears and uh, you need to wait a little bit. This is both advantage and disadvantage that you can't see progress bar of your editing process. But again, you can just drop it, click on OK and forget about this window and don't worry about that. You need to keep this window open, for example. And you just wait, uh, droplet or compressor make his magic uh, in the background and you will have final video. You can see I get notification from compressor and I have my final file in my export folder and uh, this is really interesting feature I I have never seen uh, this before and uh, I, I want to use it really I want to use uh, this feature if I have a lot of different files for example I created a course and I have 10 15 files and I just drop it in this uh, droplet feature droplet window forget about it it makes magic and I have my final files after getting a notification Really nice, really easy to use. Last tip about compressor, if you have a local network with different Mac machines, you can use another Mac machine to use compressor, use uh, his power to uh, export your files. How to turn it on? So click on compressor, preferences, and you can see my computer. You can turn this feature on and uh, someone on other Mac machine uh, can send uh, files on your machine and uh, uh, he can use uh, your powers of your Mac. And if you want to use another PCs, another Macs, click on shared computers. And if you have local network, you will have something in here. I really don't don't know this feature because I, I have one Mac in my family. It's really nice feature if you, for example, really active uh, user of uh, Final Cut Pro and you have another machine to render your files. You make your final project, you don't need to transfer your files on different PC, you just click one button drop uh, render on other PC and continue working on your active machine. 
really really nice feature i i want to use it but uh, i just want to have one one mark <laughs> and that's all <laughs> that's all what i wanted to say about apple compressor if you uh, don't know how to use final cut pro i have full playlist and also additional course uh, in the description about final cut pro how to use it and also additional tech stuff about apple about everything so just see you in the next video i don't say goodbye to you if you like this video click the like button obviously and uh, спасибо удачи and uh, i will see you in another video this video <laughs> i don't say goodbye to you see you